was meant to exhort us. Apparently, she was in the vehicle when uh, I informed her. So she didn't see it early. So I'm now on the MC and the one doing the exhortation at the same time. <laughs> You're all welcome to evangelism ministry, the SWAT team of this church. <laughs> but they made our special forces instead of regular soldiers. But it is not supposed to be that way. But we thank God for your lives, those who have made it here today. In fact, once you are part of our meeting, you realize it's a meeting of a difference. Amen? I mean, can I have a witness? Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes, today we are having, um, can I have one chair? We are having, we are going to have another wonderful meeting. Here, our meetings, if not by number, is by power. Amen? And um, we are glad in what we have taken upon ourselves. Today, we will do a little exhortation, uh, even as we proceed to the things that are meeting. Today, we are talking about um, the book of records. Amen? Amen. I mean, where do you hear this? Now, that's evangelism. <laughs> we are talking about the book of records. Um, indeed, many times we hear um, when, when we are talking about eschatology, the end times, uh, the end of days, they will say something like, and then the books were open. And then everything that you did with your life, you know, they were in those books. Somebody will also have a, a vision or revelation or a near death experience. And the person will say, oh, I saw like on the screen all that I did. In fact, our God is taking record. And his recording is detailed. Especially the one that nobody saw. That one, I think he, they give it bold and the line and everything. He is a great record taker. And every time God does something for centuries, sometimes even several millennia, the man will then come up and try and do something. Why? Because in our spirit, we're made like him. So we always try to copy him. So it's not surprising that the Ghana police now has cameras around the place at junctions recording us. But as usual, Ghanaians, as uh, those are as we are often, nobody seems to be worried. In fact, most people are convinced they are not working. Anybody I point to that, oh, that is a camera of the Ghana police. And the first the person will ask, ask me that, are they working? <laughs> And I'm wondering why they will mount a camera if it's not working. Why would they do that? But for some strange reason, we all believe that if it's a, Ghana for, a, a camera for Ghana police service, then it's not working. It is working, actually. It, 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 it's, it's recording things. Um, in front of the TTU, there's one there now. So that when people start demonstrating, they can record what went on. Amen. So our God is a God that keeps record. In fact, um, let's read some scriptures. Let's go to the Hemiah chapter 12, verse 22. Going, we won't get to 25, but we'll just talk about record keeping. And then someone should also open First Chronicles chapter 18, verse 15. In fact, in First Chronicles chapter 18, verse 15, they talk about the top men in, in David's time. They mentioned Joab, who was the army commander, the priest, and the next person they mentioned was the recorder. Recording was that important. That he was among the top ministers of David's government. So, um, who has opened the Hemiah chapter 12, verse 22? Go in. The Hemiah. Yes. 12, verse 22. And then Chronicles 18, 15. Yes.
Let's end up on there. So we're talking about records on, on, on Levi, records on who was supposed to do what. Even as far as the priests of Persia, records were kept. And referring to the book of records, the book of Chronicles. Let's go to Chronicles itself here. First Chronicles chapter 18, verse 15. It's also talking about recorder. Chronicles, first Chronicles 18, 15. First Chronicles 18, 15. Joab, son of Zeruiah. Was over the army. Jehoshaphat, son of Ahi, was the recorder. Amen. Amen. So we see they are mentioning the top echelons of, of, of power, and somehow we have a recorder as being part. Isn't this strange? You know, in our ministers, our ministers, who is the recorder in our, our ministry? Who, who, in fact, Minister of Communications, more or less. But you know, the Minister of Communications in Ghana and other developed countries does more talking than recording. No wonder we don't do much. Because everything runs on data. In fact, you can know a country's development by what it can record. It is a direct proportion. What you can record determines how developed you are. That is why Google can, can know every individual that goes there and what you like. And after you've gone there, when you go back there, you start the video and you start from where you stop. Among billions of people, how do they know that they record them where you stop? That's why when you go there, you're into football, they'll be recommending football videos to you. It is only you among the, all the people who are doing it, not everybody, it's only you. They have identified you, tagged you, recorded you, and provide to suit your, your need. And that is why they are dominating. In fact, now Google is a web. Google this. It's a web now. All because of data. All because of records. Ghana, what is unemployment? Oh, unemployment, oh, 10 years ago, it was 13%. What about five years ago? Oh, now we are still working on it. Five years, we, we have to do rebasing. Even that one, we are keeping to the United Nations standard of 10 years. We have to wait to every 10 years before we can rebase our economy. No wonder we are not going anywhere. How do you know? We're doing mobile money, and our mobile money, the money that passes there alone, is, is in the tens of billions. And yet, Ghana's whole economy is about 200 billion cities. And yet, the money that passes through mobile money is already getting to the heart of Africa, which shows that that, that estimation is not correct. Why? Well, there's no record. There's no data. Nobody's recording. Somebody comes and says that I want to employ 10,000 youth. And then he assumes that, okay, the youth who are unemployed may be 1 million. So if I employ 100,000, 900 is left. It's an assumption. No record. But the goal that we serve has chosen records. And that is how he deals with every one of us. That is why he can say that you were at this tree. We recorded it. Even before you came, you were under that tree. We recorded it. He watches everything. Bible says his eyes are moving to and fro. Seeing everything we do. And so, as much as possible, this is a habit we must adopt. Record things. Record things, especially you write them down. Tape them. And if you are learning how to sing, record your voice. If you are learning how to lead prayers, you can record your voice on your phone and see how the prayers went. The one who does not record things in this world will not excel. Somebody said he went to the training room of, um, I think one of those team, Chelsea or somewhere, and each of the players had a sort of video recorders. If he was a, a forwarder of the, of the defender, he's likely to meet you. If he was a, a defense or the forwarder, he's likely to meet you and was watching how they play over and over again. No wonder Don Bote and the rest don't go anywhere. I mean, they don't watch anything. They'll tell you, oh, I hear that this guy is skillful. Fortunately, now we have Premier League. That's the only thing they might, they might watch. But somebody's watching your skill over and over. I remember once, ACN met Ronaldo in one of those yeah, top uh, championship league. And I, don't, I think Ronaldo had watched ACN and how he moves. So he attempted he attempted something, he knew what he said would do. The way he said that he did the very opposite, that he was somewhere. No wonder he has excelled to this point. They are serious with records. We are like uh, N Kintity. And when we go to the N Kintity 200 years ago, that was somebody's I mean, renaissance. We are talking about ancient of days, and 200 years, because we have no record. 
when you need to want, you want to know something in Ghana, you have to go and look for an old woman who cannot even speak for you to hear. I'll be right here. What is an old woman going to say? She can't remember anything. Her brain cells are already dying. But that is our source of it. We as evangelists, we need to keep records. And our record keeping that we are doing, let's go to the book of Ezra. Ezra chapter 4, verse 15. There was the record of a place. And, and this man was reminding them of that record for a good reason. And you know, you know their record. You know? <coughs> so don't play with them. Ezra chapter 4, verse 15. Ezra 4, 15. So that a search may be made in the archives of your predecessors. Yes. In this record, you will find that this city is a rebellious city. Yes. Troublesome to kings and yes. provinces. Yes. A place of rebellion and patient times. That is why this city was destroyed. Amen. This is Asian too. In fact, this is Asian Asian because this is talking about Kingdom Babylon and Persia. And then this man was reporting, because we were trying to rebuild the wall, he was reporting, I mean, the, the Israelites to the king. And he was telling them that, please, king, stop these people from rebuilding. Why? Because there are records on them. These are very rebellious group of people. Almost every kingdom that has risen, they are fought against them. So you, if you don't believe me, check your records. Can, can, can somebody tell me where you read the record of how the, uh, what do you call it, the Ashanti kingdom, there to the Dahomey kingdom. Is it written somewhere? Or, or how the, um, what they call Ashanti kingdom dealt with the people beyond the Togolese, you know, some 200 years ago. Is there any record like that? They didn't ask that one. <laughs> we have used it for dancing. Can you imagine something? This is thousands of years later, and yet we don't have records. And this was thousands of years earlier, and they had records. No wonder we are where we are. Every group of people who have no records, they don't develop, they are not people you can assess, they are not people who are reliable, and they often don't make fast progress. So, we are going back to our book of records. Amen? As evangelists, we are making records, and the records we are making, the places we are going, the outreaches we are doing, your participation is being recorded, whatever you do is being recorded. We should make it a quality recording. Amen? The kind of recording that once somebody sees, you'll be encouraged. Even as you are getting close to the end of the message. Let's go to another record of Job chapter 16, verse 19. After Job had, had made his case before God, and somehow he thought maybe, you know, his matter was not important, he said to himself, well, even this thing I'm saying, if God has any evidence, it is with him on high. So I don't know whether to amount to anything. Job chapter 16, verse 19. Job 16, 19. Even now my witness, even now my witness is in heaven. My advocate is on high. Amen. He thought he was saying something, sad, but it was true. His witness indeed was in heaven. And you know the, the strange thing to that happened there. When the sons of God gathered and the devil took him, the devil had